Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Still on the spaceship, and I was thinking for a random experiment today, I want to try and create a piece of music that uses the lowest note possible for humans to hear. The limits to the range of human hearing are said to be about 20 hertz on the low side and 20,000 hertz on the high side, hertz being a measurement of how many vibrations there are per second. Sound waves, although you can't see them, are very physical and they're made up of air particles that are moving and rapidly changing between areas of high pressure and low pressure. And when you're dealing with low frequencies, those areas can get huge. For instance, for a 20 hertz wave to complete its entire cycle, it takes about 17 meters or 55 feet. So anyway, let's try and make a track that incorporates a lot of 20 hertz. So I'm going to start with Ableton's operator because I can just play a sine wave with it. So a tone with no harmonics, just a pure 20 hertz tone. Can you hear this? We're already at, that's like 39 or 40. Okay, that's what we're dealing with right at the bottom end of where the uh, scope even goes because why do you need to go below human hearing on one of these scopes? Obviously, to have a song that's only 20 hertz, it would just be that tone and there's not much you could do with that. So that tone is gonna be in this song, but we're going to augment it. We're gonna add stuff to it. I think the first thing I wanna do is just FM it with operator and see what kind of overtones happen. Try some different waveforms FMing it. Okay, this is super fun. I think what I'm gonna do is set up another track that I'll use to resample the operator while I'm messing with these knobs. Maybe I'll put the operator in an instrument rack and then I can use macros to adjust multiple parameters at once. <laughs> All right, a lot of crazy sounds. Uh, since we're probably gonna end up making some kind of dubstepy drop with this, I'm just gonna load up Serum so we can add uh, some like more finely crafted growls to this whole situation. Actually, what if I take some of the operator stuff and import it as a wavetable? <laughs> FM it from the B oscillator. I'm just going to do the exact same thing, resample it onto a new track while I'm messing around with the controls. Actually, assigning some LFOs to these is probably the way to go. Get a basic beat going. And now let's just start like grabbing some of our sounds and seeing what we can arrange on top of here. Yeah, that's huge. And that one still has a lot of 20 Hertz in it. Ended up with some really cool ones through Serum and because that was all using the LFOs, it synced to our tempo. So I can just like grab chunks really easily. That's pretty sweet. 20 minutes later. Just adding some definition to the actual notes in these sounds with a sub lab. Maybe we can actually uh, create like a little chord progression after this. This could be like whatever this next section is after drop zone. Adding in an ARP right now using phase plant. Uh, just found a preset that I liked and like tweaked it the tiniest bit. Just feel like I want some really fast, high energy, but kind of lighter stuff to uh, fill out the atmosphere here. What's next? Maybe like some, some little accents, some effect stabs. I'm gonna go on Splice and just look for vocal samples. Wait, like a scream. Come on, classic move. Put a scream in there. Was I lamp? So many types of screams. Wow, that guy's got a weird voice. Oh, there's none like Joshua. Seek and destroy. Sorry, buddy, not what I'm looking for today. So I grabbed this uh, scream female sound and uh, tuned it to the key of the song. I have it an octave down here as well. Also found a few fun little vocal accents to throw in like. Bring it, bring it back harder. Those are actually two different people's voices, but I kind of pitched and form and shifted them around until they hopefully matched. Riot, bring it back harder. Riot. It doesn't even really matter if they aren't the exact same voice, but I think I got them pretty close. Bring it back harder. 
Another cool thing over this arpy part would be like some more vocal chops, but uh, like a melodic line that I could cut up and make a melody on. I'm mud with it. minutes later super into this okay uh, let's hear the whole thing with the drop two I've been working in headphones this whole time I think I want to just blast this on the shift speakers let's check it out here we go Happening. Oh my gosh. AI offline? Ooh, that is not good. Oh, okay. Wait, rebooting. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna sit here and chill. Progress bar looks like it won't take very long. Pull the brick back in no time. Whew. Oh, what's that? Oh no, no, what? Incoming asteroids? I don't think I saw any asteroids. Okay, yep. Successful. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Totally fine. Very relaxed. My system safety protocol was triggered by an unidentified 90 decibel 20 hertz oscillation. Ooh, that was the dubstep. Diagnostic scans reveal minor impact to port side engine. Repair required to maintain oxygen levels. Uh, and if we don't repair it... Your camera would record your slow suffocation to death, which would violate one YouTube policies. Great. Let's do it. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup They slither wildly as they slip away across the universe Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind Possessing and caressing me Change my 